what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Eight police officers in Argentina, including a former town police commissioner, has been dismissed from their post after four of them claimed that more than a half ton of marijuana that came up missing was carried off by mice. Police in the town of Pilar, about 35 miles northwest of Buenos Aires, impounded 6,000 kilograms or 13,228 pounds of marijuana. But when police inspected the evidence warehouse sometime later, they found that 540 kilograms 1,190 pounds, were missing. During their investigation, officers found that former police commissioner Javier Spachia had not signed the inventory for the pot before he left his post in April 2017. Spachia and three of his subordinates were called before a judge, and all of them told the same story. The missing marijuana had been eaten by mice. That explanation did not fly well with forensics experts who testified that the mice would not have mistaken marijuana for food. And if they had, there would be dead corpses all over the warehouse, which they didn't find not one single corpse. Spashir and three of his officers must testify before a judge next month to help determine whether the marijuana vanished <laughs> in the words of the spokesperson, by connivance or negligence. <laughs> so we got a bunch of mice running around looking for some Doritos. <laughs> Man, this is one weird case. Those dudes had to be stoned to come up with that story. I mean, they had a whole what? two years to come up with the story. Now, I do believe that the marijuana was stolen, but after two years, I'm surprised that that marijuana didn't turn to ashes. These dudes, it's crazy. Yeah, the mice took the marijuana. Yeah, four little mice in little blue suits and little blue hats and with little black guns and little silver badges. <laughs> That's who took the marijuana. <laughs> that is crazy, man. man. You gotta watch these cops, man. And you gotta think about it. Where's all of these drugs going when they confiscate these drugs? Y'all know a lot of those drugs come up missing. They, they don't flush all of those drugs. They don't destroy all of those drugs. Think about what I'm saying. You work in the evidence department. You're a crook, which a lot of cops are. And you got pounds of dope. You got pounds of meth. You got pounds of cocaine. Pounds of X. Pounds of marijuana. You ain't gonna pinch. You ain't gonna take a little pinch. Come on, man. Y'all know how it go. I bet you most of that marijuana comes up missing, ends up in the hands of deputies and stuff. Look, man, there is really not any checks and balances when it comes to collecting this evidence. I know they're supposed to sign stuff in and sign stuff out. You got to do all this. Man, but think about it. If you're in cahoots with the person who's keeping count, signing people in and out, signing evidence in and out. Come on. You can get away with a whole lot of things. A whole lot of things. You got to know. Remember the sheriff in, what was it, Alabama, who was taking the money that was supposed to go for toward inmates' food, and he was taking the money, he took the money and built himself a house. He had stolen over $700,000 built himself a house for he and his wife and also a vacation house and God knows what else. These dudes, man, a lot of these dudes, man, they get in these positions 
just to steal and get away. Because one of the easiest ways to get away with a crime is to become a member of law enforcement. Once you get in, the other ones, they're going to look out for you. You know, it's like everybody's stealing, everybody crooks. So you look out for each other. That's how it go. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's the mob. Organized crime. Who you gonna tell? Who's gonna turn them in? If you do tell, you might end up dead. You go out there, man, and there's a trunk full of money or a trunk full of dope. You're looking around, and ain't nobody there, you know, like news cameras ain't around. He's like, tuk, tuk, tuk. Oh. turn that camera off. Boop, boop. Bam, put that, that stuff on there. Boop, boop. Bam. Dude come, you catch a dude with a couple of bricks. Pull him over. Look at man. You are, uh, you want to go to jail or you want to go home? You know, the old Denzel. You want to go to jail? Denzel and training that. You want to go to jail or you want to go home? Okay. All right. Get that money. Get them bricks. Now get on up out of here. Think about it, man. These dudes become cops to become criminals. Anybody who has any doubt in their mind that those officers stole that marijuana, you need your head examined. It's something wrong with you. If you give those cops the benefit of doubt, it's something really, really wrong with you. I know one thing, something like that would never happen in the U.S. Never. Wait a minute. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It happens every day. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?